Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is just on this look that I am wearing at the moment. Um, basically, I just wanted to create a really soft and pretty girly look using the 35W palette from Morphe. And I just wanted to incorporate this Eye of Horus gold liquid liner into the look as well. So if you guys want to see how I created this look, then please keep watching and I hope you enjoy the tutorial. So I'm just going to start by going in with my Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. Um, and I'm mostly just... <coughs> Whoa! What happened there? I'm mostly just going to apply this to like to the centers of my face because that's where I get the most oily. Um, and my hands look crazy, crazy orange in the viewfinder, but I swear to God they're not. Like, I mean, in, they are a bit orange in person. I'm usually like really good <laughs> with my fake tan hands. Not today. Not today. So my skin has been super annoying lately. Um, it gets like oily throughout the day, but it's been super dry, like in general. So I'm just going to take my Estee Lauder Double Wear and I'm just going to mix that with some rose hip oil, just like a couple, just a couple of drops. Just because I want my foundation to last all day, but I don't want it getting oily, like too oily. If that makes sense. Probably doesn't make any sense, does it? And I'm just going to buff that out with my Coastal Scents brush. This is from the 22-piece brush set, and it's the number four one. I kind of like what um, the oil's done to the foundation. It sort of made it really dewy and, like, really pretty. All right, so I feel like I have really bad dark circles today, so I'm just going to take this little Final Touch Brows um, Trio Concealer, and I'm just going to take the salmon -y kind of shade, and I'm just going to... Oh, I just dropped that. I'm just going to dab that underneath my under eyes. All right, and then I'm just going to take a little bit of my L'Oreal True Match. No, this is perfect match, not true match. Uh, concealer in the shade Vanilla. Vanilla. Um, and I'm just going to put that in like a little triangle underneath my eyes. And now I'm just going to blend that out with my Real Techniques little beauty sponge. Oh my God, my wrist. Now to set underneath my eyes, I'm just going to be taking the shades Vanilla and Banana from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. Um, and I'm just going to be taking them on this Sigma Tapered Highlighter brush. And now just to set the center of my face, I'm just taking my Rimmel Translucent Pressed Powder. And I'm just going to take that on my Sigma Tapered Face Brush. And I'm basically just setting the areas like my chin, just around my mouth, my nose and my forehead. And now to bronze up my face, I'm just going to go in with Colourpop's Skinny Dip and I'm just going to take that on my Sigma Small Contour Brush. So now I'm just going to contour my nose lightly and I'm just going to take Fawn from the Anastasia Contour Kit um, and I'm just taking that on a medium sweeper Sigma brush. So now for blush, I'm just going to be taking my favourite blush at the moment which is Peaches by MAC. I'm obsessed with this blush. I'm obsessed. Um, and I'm just going to take that on the Large Angled Contour F40 brush by Sigma. And now just to highlight my face, I'm just going to take my So Hollywood Illuminator by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm just going to be taking that on that same Sigma tapered highlighter brush that we used under the eyes. Alright, so I just did my brows off camera just because they take way too long to do on camera. Um, and I just used my dip brow from Anastasia in the shade Taupe. Right, I'm not sure what I'm going to do for my eyes today. So I'm just going to take this shade here from the 35W palette from Morphe. Now I'm just going to run that into my crease and just buff it out using the 224 Luxie Fine Crease Brush from Zoeva. I'm just going to run that same colour underneath my lower lash line as well. Now just taking my Sigma Buff and Blend brush, I'm just going to be taking this shade from that same palette and it's just kind of like a deeper brown and I'm just going to be running that more, preci precisely. <laughs> more precisely in the crease. And I'm just going to run that underneath my lower lash line as well. And then I'm just going in with that same Zoeva brush and I'm just going to blend everything together. And just make sure there's no harsh lines. Just make sure it's all like super seamless. So 
So I'm just going to go in with that same medium sweeper brush from Sigma that I contoured my nose with and I'm just going to be taking this really deep brown from that same palette um, and I'm just going to be running this even deeper into the crease and then I'm just taking that same Zoeva brush and just blending everything out. So now I'm just going in with that same medium sweeper Sigma brush. I dusted it off, no worry. I'm just going to be going in with this shade here which is just a really nice light shimmery sort of golden colour and I'm basically just packing that all over the lid making sure not to go into the crease. And I'm just going to lightly blend those edges just so there's no harsh lines. So now I'm just going to do a winged liner using this Eye of Horus Alchemy Gold Liquid Metals Eyeliner. So now I'm just going to go in with this NYX Wonder Pencil in the shade Light and I'm just going to be running this on my lower waterline. So now for mascara I'm just going to go in with my Rimmel Colossal Volume Mascara and I'm just applying that to my top and bottom lashes. So for fake lashes today I'm just going to be using the Temptress Wispy Lashes from House of Lashes and I'm just going to be applying those using the House of Glashes Clear... did I say Glashes? I think I said House of Glashes. What is wrong with me? Lash glue. Um, this shit does not budge. It does not budge. So my advice would be to not apply too much. And don't get it on your lashes if avoidance is possible. Because they will pull them out. Because it's so strong. So now I'm just going to line my lips with this Essence in the Nude Lip Liner. And I stay true to my natural lip line in the outer corners of my mouth, but then in the centre of my bottom lip and the cupids above my top lip, I overline. So now I'm just going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in the shade Pure Hollywood and I'm just going to apply this all over my lips. I'm also going to go over those parts that I lip lined as well if that makes sense just to make sure everything blends in. it for today's video you guys i really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial if you did please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in my next tutorial bye and now i'm just going to go in with that